हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू न्यू सेशन इट इज़ बायोमेडिकल वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर तुषार कर रहा है एम बी एस एम डी कमिटी मेडिसिन सो लेट्स बिगिन आवर सेशन आवर स्पेसिफिक लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव आर टू डिफाइन एंड क्लासीफाई द बायोमेडिकल वेस्ट एंड टू डिस्क्राइब द वेरियस मेथड्स ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ हॉस्पिटल वेस्ट नाउ डेफिनेशन ऑफ बायोमेडिकल वेस्ट इट इज़ एनी वेस्ट दैट इज जनरेटेड ड्यूरिंग द प्रोसेस ऑफ डायग्नोसिस ट्रीटमेंट और इम्यूनाइजेशन ऑफ ह्यूमन बींग्स और एनिमल और रिसर्च एक्टिविटीज और इन प्रोडक्शन और टेस्टिंग ऑफ बायोलॉजिकल्स और इन हेल्थ कैम्प्स Our objectives are to reduce the risk of transmission of infection that is contained in the biomedical waste to the patients, healthcare persons, and community at large. Now there can be various sources of biomedical waste. That is, government or private hospitals, nursing homes, physicians, and dentist office, dispensaries, medical research and training establishments, blood banks and collection centers, animal houses, slaughter houses, laboratories, and vaccination centers. Now healthcare waste generation. So this is a common pattern of Waste generation in any hospital. So, 80% will be general healthcare waste. 15% will be pathological or infectious waste. 1% will be sharp. 3% chemical and pharmacological waste, and less than 1% will be special waste, that is, radioactive or cytotoxic waste, and pressurized container or broken thermometers and used batteries. Now, what is the health hazards and type of waste? So, if the type of waste is infectious waste and sharp objects, it may enter through the puncture or abrasion or cut in the skin. That is, it can cause HIV, hepatitis B, and C, and resistant bacteria strains may be transmitted. If it is chemical or pharmaceutical waste, it is toxic, genotoxic, corrosive, flammable, reactive, explosive, and disinfectants are important members of this group. Now, third is genotoxic waste. It damages the genetic material. So, it depends on the substance toxicity. How toxic is the substance? What is the extent and duration of the exposure? It can be inhaled or of inhalation of dust or aerosols and absorption through the skin ingestion of food accidentally contaminated with cytotoxic drugs and chemicals or waste now radioactive waste can cause head headache dizziness and vomiting and they may be carcinogenic and it may even cause death if it is exposed in high amount now there is public sensitivity to the waste that is visual impact of healthcare waste particularly to the anatomical waste Now, sequence of disposal of biomedical waste in any facility. So, biomedical waste is generated from different areas. At the point of generation, it is segregated into color-coded dustbins. Then, bags are removed and handed over to biomedical waste collection team. Now, this uh, this uh, biomedical waste is uh, stored in appropriate bags at the central storage facility. It is known as common biomedical waste treatment facility. It collects the bag, and it it uh, marks with uh, symbols. And now, nowadays, QR codes are also used. The operator of the common biomedical waste treatment facility transports the biomedical waste to CBWTF for appropriate disposal. And appropriate disposal of biomedical waste is the CBWTF, and report returns and feedbacks are generated. Now, what are the different options for treatment of hospital waste? That is incineration. It is high temperature dioxidation process. Then, second is chemical disinfection. So, chemicals are added to the waste to kill or inactivate the pathogen it contains. Wet and dry thermal treatment. So, based on the exposure. The shredded infectious waste to high temperature and high pressure steam. For this microwave irradiation, so microorganisms are destroyed by the action of uh, microwave of a frequency of about 40 megahertz and wavelength of 12.24 nanometer. Now land disposal, so open dumps and sanitary landfills are there. So we have to remember that healthcare waste should not be deposited on or around open dumping. Sixth is inertization. It involves mixing waste with cement and other substances before disposal. It is done in order to minimize the risk of toxic substances contained in the waste migrating to the surface water or ground water. Seventh is plasma pyrolysis. It is a process of sterilization. So molecular dissociation of waste material occurs, and plasma torch comprising three graphite electrodes are burnt and produce plasma arc in the absence of oxygen. And eighth is the autoclaving method. Now, <coughs> uh, this is a color-coded category type of bag and. What type of waste goes in what color category, and what is the main method of treatment of the waste? So, if we, the bag is yellow colored, it is non-chlorinated bag. So, human and, and, and anatomical waste goes in it, and the method of treatment is incineration. Second is red bag. It is also non-chlorinated, tubing, porters, catheter, and urine bags, and autoclaving process. White translucent or puncture proof containers. The type of waste goes is sharps, needles, that is scalpels and blades, and The method of main method of treatment is autoclave. Blue is puncture proof boxes or containers. So the type of waste goes is glassware, broken or discarded medicine and ampules. And method of treatment is disinfection with 2% sodium hypochlorite. So these are the color coded categories. That is yellow, red, white, and blue. Y R W B. Now in summary, segregation in color coded bags occurs 
gentle treatment of all the laboratory and high infectious waste occurs intramural transportation of the segregated waste to central storage area of healthcare facilities and temporary storage of biomedical waste in the central storage area the next is collection treatment and disposal of biomedical waste through common biomedical waste treatment facility now this is a biohazard symbol this is cytotoxic hazard symbol thank you everyone for watching like share and subscribe to my channel